because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here in Glasgow, and I tell you what, Ricky Burns didn't see this coming. Well, I kind of almost did, but you against Billy Lemon, two Scottish boxing legends. As a selfish boxing fan, I'm absolutely buzzing for this. Are you? I know, Drew, I can't wait, man. Drew, for, for, year, for the last year and a half, I've been saying I would love to finish my career in Glasgow. And like I was just saying there, big thank you to Ian Wilson and everybody at St Andrews for making this happen. But uh, 10 weeks to go, man, it's showtime. Showtime. Listen, what's going to happen? I mean, we know Billy comes to fight. We know you come to fight. Now, people might say, oh, this, could, this should have happened 10 years ago in 2013, but it's happened in 2023. You're a wee bit older now. Have you, have you still got that same dog in you you had when you were 10, 10 years younger? 100%. So, so it's been about a year and a half since my last fight. Um, but you know, like, even though I've not been, I've not been active fighting-wise, I've kept myself in the gym. Um, obviously, I've got uh, pro boxers and that, that I'm coaching now as well. Uh, I've been helping a couple of them out with sparring and that. Uh, obviously, last year, um, so no, I've kept my, I've kept my, I've kept myself busy, kept myself in shape. Always fit for six, I say. It's twelve. It's twelve, and it's a bit well weight, So but again, fit for, fit for six, we, well, whatever it was, twelve weeks out, you know, always good. There you go. I mean, I, I, like I said to you there, man. Obviously, this is going to be your last fight in Glasgow. Willie's the same. It's going to be his last fight in Glasgow. Albeit, you're friendly. You used you, to been coaches in boxing Scotland together. You're both now into the pro trainers now. You're both t teaching kids to come through and teaching them the pro ranks. Albeit, it's your last fight in Glasgow, but there's no way you're losing this, are you? Oh, 100%. Do you know, um, obviously, when I spoke to Ian about this, um, there was Ian had met, we'd been speaking about other names. Aye, we'd been speaking about other names and stuff like that. Um, but like I said there, Willie's basically talked himself into this. Um, and you know, whether it's Willie or if it was anybody else, I'm treating this fight exactly the same. Um, obviously, me and Willie are both coaches at Boxing Scotland. And like I said, that, that when Willie found out I was going to speak to you, and he's joking, saying, oh, get me on the undercard. And he's laughing, saying, oh, I'll, I'll fight, I'll, in fact, I'll fight you. And I'm like, mate, when that first bell goes, I'm taking you clean out. So he, he knows where it's coming. He knows where it's coming. That being said, can you stop him then? I mean, you, there's well known that you still you still train, man. You do marathons, and freaking you're up at five o'clock in the morning doing track work. And Willie, you go on his social media, he's training hard. I've seen him on his social media, he's up and doing steps, he's doing laps, he's doing, he's, he's eyeballing you, Ricky. Look, 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 he's eyeballing you, Ricky. Uh, he's training hard, so this has got the bit between Willie's teeth. So, what kind of Willie Lemon are you expecting? I don't, like I said, um, I'm going to treat this fight the same as any other fight. Um, well, he can he can get himself in good. I'm, you know, I'm hoping he gets himself in good shape. Um, obviously, I was at his last fight there, um, and I was try I was actually trying to help him out. We was training the last time we were dra we were dragging him to the track that way. So um, I hope he I hope he ups his game for his last time. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> um, nah, but you know, like I said, he's been he's been quite active on his social media, posting up, and he does seem to be. Uh, does seem to have started getting the finger out. Obviously, he knows he's got a hard fight here. Um, so no, fingers crossed, man. It's going to be a good night in Glasgow. I, I think it is. I think when you when you've got two Scottish legends, you've got undercard full of young Scottish fighters. I think some of your young fighters might be on it as well because well, he's got his son Jake on it. He's got Mark Cross on it. Young Mike McHale, who's been dubbed as the next sort of like star coming out of Scotland behind you and Josh Taylor and Willie Lemond. So it's going to be a great night. In, in Glasgow. Um, so, what can the fans expect from Ricky Burns? Much the same as uh, the old Ricky Burns? Do you know, same as always. Do you know, I'd just like to say, obviously, the, the fight's like 10 weeks away, but do you know, see the amount, uh, we say, throughout my whole career, um, whenever we fought in Glasgow, the support I've had has been unbelievable. And like I've said, um, people are always messaging me saying, oh, you need that one more. Um, so, so here it is. And do you know, like I said, Fans up here have been so good to me over the years. It's good to get them. So get, good to get this show. And fingers crossed, man, they all turn up, man. We'll get another good night. Ricky, you're such a nice guy. So is Billy Lemon, right? And I know boxers, they can switch it off as soon as that first bell goes. They can switch it, and it, they, it can almost become your enemy in that and the, the man across the corner. So how do you get that switch? Because you've normally for so long, you've trained alongside them, you've helped them, like you said in his, his last fight. You've, you've coaches and boxing Scotland together. How do you get that switch to turn off the think? I need to hurt this guy who's my friend. I've known him for so long, but I need to actually hurt him and then put on a big show for this uh, Scottish crowd. Uh, do you know, I've got no issues with that at all. <laughs> um, do you, know, it's like, say, you ask Andy, who's come up to spar with me over the years. Um, like obviously, 
don't get me wrong, when you're in Spam, you're in there to learn, but um, you're in there, you're getting ready to fight. And like I said, like, when I, whenever I'm in that ring, um, it's like, like you said, that switch goes, man, and you're like, I'm on you. So, like, friend or not, I could be in there with my bra, uh, fighting my bra, and it would be the same as soon as that first bell goes. I'll shake his hand at the end of it, but until then, uh, it's game on. Ricky, what's going to happen then? Two parts to this question. What can the fans expect, and can you knock Willie Lemond out? Um, do you know, fans are going to expect, same as always, do you know what I mean? Uh, whenever I'm in there, I always give them all. Um, I'm not one. I've never made a prediction uh, what fight's going to happen. What, what, what's going to happen during the fight in my career? Uh, but no, I'm confident to get out there and getting him out of there. You sure there's not going to be one more if you win? Um, I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll play it by ear. We'll see what happens. Ricky, <laughs> <laughs> Alison, I've been saying for a long time I want you to say a farewell to your Scottish fans, especially in Glasgow, because what you've done for Scottish boxing, um, the three weight world champion, bringing these big nights to, to, to Glasgow before Josh Taylor became that sort of guy, you've done it. You were the three weight world champion. You held Scottish boxing on your shoulders by yourself for so long. So for you to get your farewell fight against an absolute other Scottish boxing legend in Willie Lemond, I'm fucking buzzing, mate, and I cannot wait. It's going to be a great night. Um, obviously, Ian's already but the. the the, the fighters that he's talking about getting on so it's going to be a good night of boxing um, all Scottish lads a couple of other title fights are going to be on the bill as well uh, and nah, that's going, going to be a good night yeah I'm actually buzzing I can't wait Ricky thank you so much brother man I'll see you, I'll see you maybe beforehand but I'll definitely see you on the 1st of September ah, cheers man cheers Ricky thank you mate cheers because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. And it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 